gunshots that rang out over the week. From Prayagraj, Uttar Pradesh to Delhi's Saket court, convey a booming message that India of 2023 is not the India of the past. There are enough indications that we're moving away at bullet speed from the Gandhi Nehru days and from our long entrenched virtues of diversity, harmony, and non violence. <laughs>
while India averaged 25.01 percent. Ati government started poor, used politics and crime to get rich quick, but ended up multi-dimensionally poor, like his home district. Sadly, numerous others around the country are easily able to blend politics and crime. And for some reason, our voters seem to just love them. Our penchant to repeatedly elect criminals as our leaders is a shame. But meeting out street justice to them, like shooting an Atik Ahmed while in handcuffs and chains, is worse. We are the world's largest democracy and this year we will be the most populous nation. Hopefully, we won't also be the most lawless nation where accused have their homes demolished or shot in police custody before they get a fair trial. Otherwise, like the Mughals going out of syllabus, our long-cherished virtue of non-violence will also go out of syllabus. To ease that gloomy picture of an increasing number of politicians with criminal record, let me leave you with an uplifting tale from Kerala. Earlier this month, 19 IPS officers from the Sardar Vallabhai Patel National Police Academy Hyderabad visited the government vocational and higher secondary school at Vitura in South Kerala, impressed on hearing about the student police cadet scheme, SPC, at the school. The SPC is taking initiatives like running an honesty shop with the students, digital de-addiction, a medicinal garden, activities to check substance abuse and much more. Over the last two years, 59 IPS officers have visited the school to study the SPC activities. Catching them young to decriminalize India 